For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now let's do this type of problem where they give you the force that is being applied at point P. They give you the moment that it creates about O. And they tell you that if the point P sits at 1 meter in the X and they don't give you the Y or the C, find the Y of this and the C. And then they also want you to find this distance D from the line of action of P given this equation. So F sits at 6 in the I plus 8 in the J plus 10 in the K. The moment that it creates about O is given at negative 14 in the I plus 8 in the J plus 2 in the K. And they tell you that the point P sits at 1 in the I plus PY in the J plus P, C in the K. And they want you to find these two points. You know that the moment that it creates about O is given by this vector, which is vector from O to P, cross the Cartesian vector form of F. But O sits at the origin, so this is the same as P cross F. So to calculate this, you draw your matrix, I, J, K. You know that P is equal to 1, P, Y, and P, C, the values we're trying to find. And the force is 6, 8, and 10. So you redraw your first and second column. 1, P, Y, 6, and 8. You do your positive diagonals. I times P, Y times 10 is... 10 py j times pc times 6 is 6 pz in the j and this is in the i and k times 1 times 8 is plus 8 in the k and now you do your negative diagonals which come out to be negative 8 pc is actually yeah sorry Negative 6 times PY times K goes right here. Negative 6 PY in the K. Negative 8 times PC times I is negative 8 PC in the I. And negative 10 times 1 times J is minus 10. So when you add this together, you get that the this is 10 PY minus 8 PC in the I plus 6 pc minus 10 in the j plus 8 minus 6 py in the k this is the moment at o but the moment at o is given at negative 14 i plus 8j plus 2k so negative 14 is equal to this equation 8 is equal to this and 2 is equal to this. So negative 14 is equal to 10 py minus 8 pc. That doesn't do us no good. Positive 8 is equal to 6 pc minus 10. If you solve for pc, you add 10 to both sides, you get 18. You divide by 6 and you get that pc is equal to. 3. And the last one is 2 is equal to 8 minus 6 py. So you subtract 8 from both sides, you divide by negative 6 and you get that py is equal to positive 1. These two values, you can plug them in here to verify. So you get negative 14 is equal to 10. py is 1 minus 8 and pc is 3. So 10 minus 8 times 3, which is uh, negative 24. 10 minus 24 is negative 14, so negative 14 is equal to negative 14, which means that these values are correct. So in conclusion, P sits at 1 in the X, 1I plus 1 in the Y, 1J plus 3 in the K, 3K. Now they want you to find this distance D by telling you that 
the moment is equal to f times d. To find the magnitude of the moment, you got to do the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. The components of the moment are given. So when you plug these three values into this formula, you get that the moment has a magnitude of 16.24. The moment of f is fine on the on the the magnitude of f is fine on the same uh, fashion. X component square plus y component square plus c component square. They're given here six, eight, and ten. You plug in six, eight, and ten, and you get that the magnitude of f is 14.14. .14. So they're telling you that the moment is equal to f times that distance t. Therefore, the moment is given at 16.24. I mean, we calculated at 16.24. The force f, we calculated it to be 14.14, and this is what we're trying to find. So you solve for d by dividing both sides by 14.14, .14, and you get that d is equal to 1.15 meters approximately so final answer for the final answer for the y of p final answer for the c of p and final answer for the cartesian vector form of p please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you